I thought I'd have a look at some geeky stuff to do in London. Come on, let's see what we can find. There's a lot of Harry Potter stuff in London. You all know about Platform 9 and 3 quarters, I assume, where tourists line up to have pictures taken with a trolley halfway through the wall. Sure, it is a bit charming to have a look at this iconic platform, but it's really way too packed with curious tourists who want to get a silly picture with the trolley. There is also a Harry Potter statue at Leicester Square. And of course, they're still putting on Harry Potter musicals. And it might not strictly be Harry Potter licensed, but there are wizard afternoon teas in London as well. There's really an amazing amount of interactivity in this afternoon tea. I love it. The House of Spells is not really an unusual tourist attraction since it's quite famous, but I still highly recommend it if you're into geek merchandise of all kinds. I've been to a couple of barcades, but I have to say that NQ64 is something quite extraordinary. They have a huge selection of games, both old and new. Everything from Time Crisis to 1942 to Guitar Hero. And most importantly, it's just as much a cool bar as it is a gaming place. It's big and loud and full of people, but from a gaming perspective, it might not be the best barcade ever. Big Beep Bar in Copenhagen, for example, doesn't have quite as many games, but it's more cozy and inviting, and the music isn't as loud. And Q64 is still an amazing place, but it's more of a party spot, and not really for hardcore gamers. But that's just my geeky opinion. Camden Anime, nice place to check out if you're in Camden. It's uh, not super big, but uh, some nice figures here. And if you are in Camden anyway, you should also check out Babylon Park, a very strange underground arcade and amusement park. This is fun, but strange. Very fun, but very strange as well. But overall, it's a great collection of games and fun for the whole family. Or just geeky grown-up men like myself. I have to admit that I'm a bit of a geek, just a wee bit. As in, I'm a gigantic nerd and a dork. 
I've read a lot of fantasy and sci-fi books, and something that strikes me is how many amazing authors come from the UK. Now, you may be wondering why I'm talking about this while walking around in a cemetery. That's because this is Highgate Cemetery, where you can see Douglas Adams' grave. And that's about it for some more geeky stuff to do in London. I hope you found it interesting. Like and subscribe, but most importantly, remember to stay geeky out there. Oh, and also have a look at this video up here in the corner.